Oh, in our MSP or first ever MSP growth clinic that we had the other day, inside the chat window, a few people had asked uh, if we could provide some details on how to create the process of somebody opting in on a website. So entering their name and email address and other details, and then being put into automations inside Growably to be able to send them marketing or, or do whatever you want to do. And so I said I would go and record a quick video to show you how easy it is to do it. And so here is that quick video. Now, the caveat here is I'm going to do all of this with no design. I'm going to make it look ugly just because I want to do it fast. Uh, obviously, if you want to do landing pages, you want to make them look good. And and we're continually, like we're working on a bunch of landing pages at the moment that we'll be pushing into Growably for you to use. By the time you watch this video, there may already be a few more in there. There's already some in there at the moment. But I'm just going to show you functionality-wise, not design-wise. That's for another an, another topic. But essentially... The process starts at a form. Whenever you want someone to fill in something on a website, they need to fill in a form. So I'm gonna go into the site section down here and go to forms and click on the form builder. And I'm gonna click on add a form and start from scratch. And this is gonna be an opt-in form. I just want their name, email, uh, maybe first name, last name, email, etc. And you'll see the form builder pops up with a basic form in here. First name, last name, email, phone number. Uh, you can you can delete things on it if you don't want their phone number, for, for instance, and you can click on the plus button here and ask for other things. Maybe you want their um, company name or their website or something. So you just drag these things out. Um, and I might say I, I want their first name and their last name to be required over here. So I'm going to set them. Um, I can change the button color. Or I can do whatever I want in here. I'm going to change it to bright pink. Um, and I want the website also to be required. And that's it. So now I want to save that form. Uh, that form is now ready to start collecting leads, right? That's the first step. We need a form to collect leads with or collect someone's information. So I can click save on that. Uh, now there's, when I click on the integrate button, there's a few things that I can do here. I can use it as a sticky sidebar that pops up on website so that it comes in from the side. Uh, polite slide in so that it comes in um, from the bottom uh, pop up. So they pop up when you click on something or, or the easiest and the most often used the inline form. And so I'm going to use the inline one. Um, you could, I can go in here and I can copy the embed code and use it on another WordPress website or whatever, but I'm going to show you how to do it on a landing page inside Growably uh, because that's typically what you're going to be building your landing pages in if you're using Growably. So I don't need to do anything in here. That's just if I want to embed it on another website somewhere inside Growably, it's all integrated. So I press done here. I've saved this form. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to build a, a funnel. So I'm going to go in here and build a funnel. A funnel is essentially a funnel that you're, you're funneling leads through. Like think of it as just a funnel that you're funneling leads through right from the top of your funnel where you're gathering their details all the way down to when you're starting to nurture them and whatnot. So I'm going to call this lead capture. Something simple. I'm not, as I said, I'm, not, I'm just showing you the, the basics here. Um, so we're going to start a brand new funnel. And the first thing we're going to do in that funnel is create a step. And so the first step is opt-in, whatever it happens to be. You, you're going to come up with your own stuff here and the path might be opt-in. This is where it's going to show up on your domain. So if you've got go.yourit.com uh, as what you're using in Growably, then slash opt-in is where this page is going to show up. So I'm going to create this funnel step or this page and it's going to um, it's going to pop up with a page in here where I can now go and create a, you can use, like in this section, here, you can do split tests so that you can figure out whether one page converts better than another page. I'm not worrying about any of that for now. That's advanced stuff. Don't try and do that until you're more advanced in this, this area and you're, you're starting to get lots of traffic coming to your, your pages. If you're just getting started, just get started with one. And so all I'm going to do here is create, create a page. Um, it will load the WYSIWYG page editor in here. And all I'm going to do on this page, um, like you can, I'm just going to create a full width page at the moment. Um, and if I click the plus button here, uh, I want to put a full width page. And in this, I'm going to put one column. And uh, up here, I might go and put a, uh, a logo. Like if this is, again, I said I'm not going to do design on here. So I'm just going to put whatever. You, you put an image up here and, and you go over here and figure out what the image is going to be. And it might just be your logo. If it's going to be your logo, you can use custom values for that. That's another conversation for another day. Uh, but I'm just going to pick, let's see if I can find a lo something small in here. Here you go. Put your logo here. So I'm just going to put a logo up the top. I'm going to make it, um, make it smaller because that's huge. Actually, no, I'm not going to care about design because otherwise we're going to be in this thing for ages. Uh, you, the design's a completely different topic. So now I want that form to show up on this landing page. So now I go in here and um, I think they've got a, yeah, they've got a search box at the top here. So I'm going to choose form, type in form, click that. And now it's asking me what form do I want to put in here? So I'm going to put the one that I just created, which I can't remember what I called it. It probably got called something, something, um, probably this, probably for, I didn't name it anything, uh, which I should have done, but you'll see. Oh, there you go. It's our pink one. So that's the form on there. So that now 
our form is embedded on a page. And so if we go and publish that page, we can set all the URL settings and wherever that page is going to live somewhere else. Again, that's not like the part of this because it's very easy to go and do that. I don't want to dive that deep into this process in here. But now essentially we've got an ugly as hell, but functional opt-in page where someone can go and opt in. So now I go and publish that page and I'll figure out what domain it's going to go. And I don't have a domain in this testing tenant, but you, you would have your domain in here, either your public domain, like your primary domain, like yourit.com, or you would be setting up Growably to be on a subdomain like go.yourit.com. Um, if you're using Growably for your entire website and everything, it'll be on your primary domain. If you're only using Growably for landing pages and, and opt-in pages and stuff like that, then it will be on a subdomain like go.yourit.com. But you would have your domain in here, and when you save it, it's going to publish across to whatever URL that you set that thing across to. Um, right, so that's it. I can't... Um, I'm going to leave this one now because it's not, it's not needed from here on in, um, but you would obviously be saving it. So now uh, we've got... A form created that's going to gather the details that you want to create. And now we've, we've put that form and embedded that form on a page that's on, our, on a URL somewhere that you can send traffic to with whatever campaign you're using to send the traffic there. Now, what do we do once somebody fills in that form? That is where automations come into play. So now if I go into this automation section in here, I'm going to click create a workflow. And I'm going to start from scratch again. I don't like using templates normally because most of them are junk. Um, and I've, I've got my own way of preferring to do things. And so this now is going to create a, a workflow, which I'm going to call opt-in, uh, process opt-ins or whatever it happened to be. Process and nurture leads. Process opt-ins and nurture leads. Like typically you're, gonna, you're going to be creating um, these sorts of things for each individual type of campaign that you have so that you can be campaign specific. But again, I'm just showing you the functionality. You can figure out what you want to do on the back end or use some of our uh, pre-built templates that we're rolling out for you. But here you then go, okay, well, I want this workflow to be triggered by something. What do we think we're going to trigger it by? We're going to trigger it by someone submitting a form. So again, over in the workflow triggers, you've got hundreds of different, or well, not hundreds, but you've got tons of different workflows over here. And if I type the word form up there, it's one of the triggers to trigger this workflow is somebody submitting a form. So I'm going to I'm going to set form in here. I'm going to say um, op, um, submitted. And this is just this workflow trigger name here is just for your your visual reference on the, the thing. So, But I'm going to say submitted opt-in form. All right. And now in the filters, and this is the important part here, I need to add a filter so that I'm only triggering this workflow when someone opts into that particular form that I just created. So in here, I'm going to say the filter is that the form is form 25. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit save trigger. And now I've got a trigger that's going to kick fire off that form once someone opts that thing in here. Now comes the fun part. Now you press the plus button down here for the actions. And now's when you do whatever the heck you want when somebody brings in a form. You might go in here and um, number one, you might create an opportunity. You might say, okay, well, we've just got interest here. So I'm going to create an opportunity um, on the in our sales pipeline board here. So you might use MSP leads. Sales pipelines is not a topic I'm going to run into on this call because I want to try and keep this, this one short. But, um, but it's a complete sales pipeline system that you've got inside Growably that you can go and create your own pipelines for all different types of varied things with stages and everything in there. I'm just going to choose this one as the, the person's at the right fit call stage at the moment. Opportunity name couldn't be um, um, MSP um, interest query from and here you can use this custom values thing here to grab details from the person that just filled in that form so we know that they've filled in their first name and their last name um, in there so i'm going to grab both those details so now you're going to have a contact a, an opportunity show up um, in your opportunity planner or your sales crm in here with that particular name and it's very easy to see what one is um what one is who's based on the name that you've got in there i'm going to call that something um msp um proposal or whatever i don't know what campaign you're going to be using for these there's a million different types of campaigns you can use you can put the source in here say the source came from let's say that say all the traffic that you're sending to that that um that particular form or that landing page is because it's a cybersecurity campaign that you're running um you could then say um campaign uh, or cyber security sorry security whatever audit campaign um, lead value, you might know that your average lead value is is $10,000, which is probably understating it in the MSP world. Did I make it 100000 then? Yeah, I did. Let's leave it at that. Um, and the status is open. So uh, now I can click the save button. So now we've got an opportunity. Now I also want to be notified when someone fills in the form. So I'm going to click up here and type NOTI, send internal notification. I want to be notified via an email uh, that someone has filled in my form. So I'm going to put 
the this is the email stuff and you're going to put your name and your email and the user type you probably want to just going to do custom email in here and just type yourself like i would put nigel at oops i can't type when i'm doing videos um nigel <laughs> there you go definitely can't type i'm gonna put that in there in there i'm gonna put nigel in here um you received a new opt-in from and again you can use these custom values here so contact first name contact last name you could have i probably should have put a space in between there on the last one and then you can just fill out your email here with whatever you want this is an internal email that's going to you so blah 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 save that action you then might go okay well i want to add a task for someone on my team to reach out to this person that's just opted in so you'll click add task um and you'll you put in here um call this person right and you've got their details now so call you can probably use the full name one here because that concatenates the first name and last name together and you're going to assign it to whoever's a sales rep on your team andrew's a sales rep today and you've got to call this person within two days so i'm going to put that as an action on here um blah 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 um but then you might also go ah, i want to actually send an email to the person that opted in thanking them for their interest uh, so that they know that you, their submission has been received so then in here i'll go to send an email and uh, in here, I'm going to send another email from me, um, from me at, again. Uh, subject, thanks, we'll call you ASAP. Um, and then you write a nice, like do a nice email up here. Um, hi, blah, blah, blah. Hi, first name, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'll be calling you very shortly. Save that action. And then you've got an email in here, right? So this is, and, and I'm just, I'm trying to be super quick to show you some of the things that you can do. As you, when you click on this plus button here, you'll see there is a billion, bajillion different things that you can do in here. Um, all sorts of crazy cool stuff. Um, but I just want to give you a, some, a little bit of inspiration of the types of things you can do when, when someone opts into your form here. You might also add some tags. You might then go and put them into a, a separate nurture automation if this is just processing the opt-ins. Um, there's all sorts of different things you, you go and do from here, but that's about it. Save that, publish, uh, publish and save that one. And as long as you've got your lead form and everything done, then you, you're done. Like people will then go to that, that like you, you, your job then is to obviously send traffic to that lead form via whatever way you're doing it, whether it's postcards or printed newsletters or Google ads or Facebook ads or, um, events or whatever it happens to be. Uh, your job is to then send traffic to that URL. And then as people start to opt in, they're going to come into here. I'm not going to save this now but they're gonna come into the contacts thing over in here and start showing up as contacts. Actually, I'll click away from that because I think I've got some, some contact data in there. But they're gonna start showing up as contacts in there and immediately you're gonna start getting these, these, these opportunities pop up over here, which is gonna say MSP query from so-and-so and you can drag them along to different, different um, stages in the, the sales pipeline over here as they do. But that's about it. Uh, if you go into sites, uh, into funnels, there's, there's probably a lot of junk in this one because this is one of our testing ones. But if you go into campaigns, you'll see that we're starting to design some um, some funnels and opt-in pages for you. So I didn't show you any design on this video, but if you go into like this particular one, um, this is an opt-in for designing a calendar um, thing here. And so this one's actually not embedding a form, it's embedding a calendar, which is again, another thing that just shows up. Um, you, you create calendars in here. Sometimes you might want your opt-in to be via a calendar to book in a call with you. Other times you just want to gather their details. There's two different approaches. Depends on the campaign you're using as to what one you will use. But in here, you can see this one's nicely designed. Um, if you update all your logo and colors and stuff over in the, the custom values over in here, they'll automatically update on this particular form here as well but you you can get as fancy as you want or as simple as you want with your opt-in forms if you're not a designer pay a designer to do it don't try and do it it's um like us most of us techies in the msp space are the world's worst designers i am the world's worst designer i can't as you saw before i can't i can't draw a a, a, a um stick figure if my life depended on it and so i always defer to getting designers to go and design all of my things to make them look pretty i'm good with the functionality i can do handle all the functionality side of things really 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 well um, and so, so that's it. The process is not hard. It's nice and easy. Um, we're going to make it even easier and easier and easier for you as we keep rolling out more campaigns and more, more um, landing pages and more automations that, that couple with landing pages and whatnot. We've got a few that we, I was even on another call two hours ago running through all the final stuff that we're getting ready for the next one we're going to be launching. Um, but that's it. Hopefully that helps answer any questions. All the best. Enjoy. Bye for now.